Welcome back to another 4 core 8 walk around video. Today we're taking a look at a 2018 40 kilowatt hour battery Nissan Leaf with 30,000 miles. So we've got two charge cables with this car. One is a three pin charge cable for use at home, and the second is a type two to type two charge cable for when you're out and about on an AC connector. So we've included both of these with this car. The car's also got lots of great features. It's a really high spec version of the Leaf. So it's got a reverse camera, 360 camera, and then front and rear parking sensors as well. For those in the back, we've got heated seats in the back, and it is a genuine five seater. And then up at the front, we've got loads of tech. So let's jump inside and have a look. Okay, so in the front of the car now, I'll just run you through the buttons that we've got here in the middle. So automatic gear selector, of course, with two more buttons here, one for eco mode and one for the E pedal. So essentially that gives you a really high level of regenerative braking and it's almost one pedal driving. So driving around town, you barely need to touch the brake pedal. Moving further up, we've got USB and AUX as well as the controls for the heated seats. We've got two stage heated seats in the front, as long with the normal 12 volt socket. The heating controls just above. So we've got air conditioning, of course, and there is a timer function on here. So in the morning, you can get the car to warm up whilst it's on charge outside your house, and you can control all that and set all that up from the screen here. The touch screen in the middle's got loads of features too. It's got built-in sat-nav. It's got a really good eco screen, so you can see what the car's up to, where it's using battery. It's also got that 360 camera that we mentioned and that front and back cameras are really handy for when you're parking in a tight spot. Moving over to the steering wheel, we've got automatic lights and wipers. We've also got loads of buttons here on the wheel, which is great for when you're driving. Control all the usual stuff, GPS, volume controls, cruise control, all of that. And then over on the right hand side, we've got the buttons to open the charge flap and the heated steering wheel buttons, which I'll show you now. So to charge the car, we've got two ways to open the charge flap. The first way is using the button down here. We've also got a button on the remote. So if I hold that down, we can have a look at the front of the car. And then in here, we've got two ports for charging. So the one on the right is a standard UK type two connection. It's a slower method of charging, but it's probably the type of charging that you'll use at home. And then on the left, we've got the CHAdeMO connection. So that allows high speed charging, and that's what you'll normally use at the service station. This can add about 100 miles of range to the car in around half an hour if you get on the right connection using the CHAdeMO. So it's a really handy car for long drives, not too much waiting around at all. So this Leaf is ready to drive away today. It's just come away from Nissan, having had a full service and clean MOT. It's only got two previous owners, and with 30,000 miles, it is in really good condition. The 4 core E, we can offer free delivery to anywhere within England and Wales, but it's only a small extra charge up to Scotland. We can also offer finance with great rates, and we can have a look at any part exchange vehicle that you might have as well, whether it's electric or not. So if you do have any questions or you'd like to arrange a viewing, just give us a call or get in touch via the website. We can do online viewings as well from the comfort of your own home. If you have any questions or you'd like more information, just get in touch. Thanks very much.